What's up, Padawan? What's up, Padawan? I'm Frodo Jordan. We can tell like a T. I'm motherfucking here. Now, today we're going to, I want to talk about CEO of YouTube, Susan Wojcicki. And the reason why is because for the last five years she's been running YouTube. She's not helping none of the small creators. <coughs> to me, she's doing more harm than good. She's not helping nobody but the well-known YouTubers. I haven't seen you do nothing for us small creators. It's more like you are being the female version of Donald Trump, causing an issue instead of helping. And the reason why I say this is because... The reason why I say this is because you took so much away from us as creators. You took away... Took away us getting paid, us being somebody, us trying to make it, us trying to get out there even more by taking more away from us instead of giving to us. And y'all can sit up and say, well, well, you're being bitter. I'm not being bitter. I'm just pointing stuff out. Because I sit here and I'm on these YouTube groups on Facebook and these people are begging for, begging for subscribers same with myself not begging but more like okay trying to get subscribers on both my channels and it's more like you're not helping us out you're more like hurting us and for the small creators out there y'all need to realize she is not helping us whatsoever she's tending more to the well known people like Keemstar Jake Paul, Logan Paul Rice Gum the Gabby Show, KSI, DG, aka the Comedy Short Gamer, so on and so forth. It's like you tend to them more you tend to us. And for over the last five years that you've been running it, more and more ad revenue people have dropped YouTube is because of the decisions that you have made. Not the greatest uh, decision, but the worst decisions that you made. Look how many deci uh, ad revenue people dropped YouTube because of Drake Paul, uh, Jake Paul or Logan Paul becoming an issue. And every time we try to do something, you take more away from us. You're setting more rules for the smaller creators than the well-known creators. And the reason why I say that the reason why I say that is because every time us small creators upload a video, we getting flagged real quickly. Like, really? How come we get flagged real quickly? But if it's a well-known YouTuber, their shit, their stuff goes up real, real fast. Or like the whole we gotta have a thousand subscribers and forty thousand hours of watch time just to get paid. Like, you really? hurt us in that situation I can understand that we gotta earn our key but the, it doesn't have to come to the point where we gotta go way out the way like yeah this can be a hobby and also can probably be a job but you gotta look at it like this how can we be how can we stay on YouTube and be small cre and be creators if we gotta work a 9 to 5 job you want more people to come on the site instead of leaving the site. But we're leaving because you're not making the right decision. You're not keeping us to the site. You're not keeping us here. It's more like we're going to Snapchat. We're going to Instagram. We're going back to Facebook. We're going to Twitch. We're going to all these other social, Twitter, these other social, social media sites. But we're not staying on YouTube. And you wonder why you're losing so many people, users are on the site because you're tending to the well-known people, but not the small creators. And so many well-known creators have left YouTube because of your decisions. The ones like I like, when I see Freddie, when I sit there and go look up Freddie Wong, he ain't made a video in years because of decisions he probably made. Or other YouTubers that used to be on here and he left because of the decisions that you made. And when we question what team 
YouTube team, we can't get a straight answer. We get this run around. And it shouldn't be where we have to ask team YouTube team or team YouTube for anything. You are the CEO of YouTube and you're causing, like I said, causing more problems than fixing them. And it's gotten to a point where Google, and it's bad that Google wants to cut ties with YouTube because of the, the decisions that you made. That's bad that YouTube want to cut ties with you. It, it's, it's bad that Google wants to cut ties with YouTube because of what you're doing. And Google is a, well, billion dollar corporation. And they're sitting back looking it's like, whoa, this woman is not really helping out YouTube. She's causing more issues than fixing the issues. I think we need to cut ties because we're going to lose more money because of her trying to fix YouTube. And I've actually sit there and did countless videos telling, saying she needs to stop doing the things she's doing before something happens, something bad happens. I say she needs to quit before somebody ends up getting hurt at the headquarters or you keep playing with people's money, you keep sitting up there messing with their channels, the wrong set of people are getting the wrong strikes, so on and so forth. And what happened, you had a woman a few years ago shoot up the headquarters out in California. California. That should have been the first warning of you waking up and realizing that you need to quit messing with small creators or other people that's not in this country because even it's gotten to a point where it's going to get to a point where other countries are cutting off YouTube or outlawing YouTube like you it's going to get to a point where all the other countries around the world is going to really cut off YouTube completely because of your decisions because you're mess your mess and that's all it is, and you're not fixing it, you're not going to work on it or nothing, because every decision you make is the bad decisions. When you sit up there and, well, we're going to fix it where you got to make get a 1,000 subscribers or 40 hours of, 40,000 hours of watch time. How can we get a 1,000 subscribers where all the well-known YouTubers are trending on the front page every day? How can we compete with them where they're getting more views? Half of us do get more views on one video than a well-known YouTuber, but we never get the front page. We never get trending or nothing. And there's been complaints with some of the well-known YouTubers are starting to complain about issues. It's like every time the well-known one YouTubers complain, you fix it. Every time us small creators complain, you never fix it and it shouldn't be that way it shouldn't be where you'll fix everything that a well known YouTuber say but you never fix anything that a small creator say so you, like I said you've been on here for five years and then causing more issues and fixing them and it shouldn't be that way where you've been the CEO of a company you're killing your company you're actually killing you're like a cancer and I shouldn't have to call you a cancer because you're running a company and it's so terrible that I am calling the CEO of YouTube a cancer because she is not fixing the issues that we're complaining about. Y'all small creators, y'all need to quit. <coughs> Excuse me. Y'all need to quit taking up for well known. Well, they worked hard for it. But what about you? Didn't you work hard for it? Didn't you bust your tail on the countless hours getting footage, getting uh, getting footage and everything and so on and so forth to post it up a video you put your blood sweat and tears into a video to so people can watch but nobody watches it because well no ones are getting more hookups than you like really wake up like I'm getting sick and tired like I'm putting all my time into this uh, trying to do something trying to make videos, trying to keep content going, make my content, trying to please my Padawans by doing videos, YouTube videos, so they can learn something or they can understand what's going on. But it's kind of hard to do that when 
she keeps it making it harder for us small creators to do that and it shouldn't be that way where I gotta stop my passion of being a YouTuber because she's making me you, you probably say how's she making you do it because back when I started I was loving doing YouTube videos every day like I didn't mind doing five videos in one day I didn't mind I didn't mind, but it came down to it where now half of us small creators are quitting, giving up, leaving, going to other sites because of her, and y'all small creators need to stop taking up for her, stop kissing her ass just to have content or keep a channel, she's the main reason why we can't have a channel. She's the reason why we can't have good content. She's the reason why that our videos are not getting watched. She's the reason why we're not trending. She's the reason why we can't even have a chance, a fighting chance, to be somebody on YouTube. It's more like that teacher in your school saying, you are never amount to nothing. It's like your parents telling you, you are never amount to nothing. She is like that too to small creators telling us that every day every time a well known creator gets a play button or getting a streaming award or going going to VidCon or Coachella and so on and so forth because she's taking more away from us than giving to us and to me to be honest if I was in her shoes and I was looking at what was going on I will be more stricter on the well-known than the small creators because the reason why is if I'm stricter on the more well-known then people will follow because they're not be she's not being more stricter on the well-known because if you look at it they're still doing the same thing and they never get punished they never get strikes they never get nothing oh they can go back and fight it they got their shit they got their videos back up real quick and it's like wow that's that's my stuff that when I ask for help you when I ask for help from y'all y'all want to sit there and still straighten my videos it's been up for probably 13 years or y'all would have said well we like I've done videos where I've talked about things before these BS started happening and it's been taken down but I look at youtubers well known youtubers that did the same kind of content video theirs are still up and it's not fair and it's not right and it shouldn't be that way so to me I think she needs to be removed from being CEO or CEO of YouTube slash president or working at YouTube if she can't do the right thing and tend to the smaller creators more than the well known be more strict on the well known but raise off the smaller ones that's all it is be more strict on them take more away from them than giving to them and then helping out the small creator. It's like the small creators are Mexico and the well-knowns are in the United States. We can't get no help. The well-known YouTubers will not help us, will not collaborate with us, will not do nothing for us to help us out to be up there with them. All they're going to say, well, all well-known YouTubers can say is, you ain't shit, you're never going to be shit, die off some damn where. And I'm tired of sitting up here watching well-known YouTubers rub their damn money in my face. I don't subscribe to them. I'm tired of subscribing to them. I unsubscribe to them because of that. But I don't want to fight for the smaller creators like myself and others. And the ones that sit up on these groups on Facebook trying to get subscribers. I want to fight for y'all. But y'all rather sit up there and we like, look, we love Logan Paul. We love Jake Paul. We love Bryce Cup. But are they going to help you out? By making, by helping you with content, no. But you so quick to defend these people, but they would never defend you. And that's what I'm saying. They will never defend you. She will never help you out. You're pretty much shit to her. And that's all I gotta say on that. I want to say more, but I want to know what you y'all think about this. To me, I wish I was the CEO of YouTube just to fix it. Well, I don't. I really don't. I don't want to be CEO of YouTube. I want somebody else to can be do a better job than her. Do a better job being her shoes, so they can, they can help us out instead of taking away. Because if somebody's 
better takes their place that where they can earn the church back from ad revenue people where they can give back to the smaller creators where they can sit there and be more stricter than the well known one then yeah I wouldn't be bitching and complaining about it but it seems like this is never going to happen because so many smaller creators don't want to fight for themselves they want the well known ones to fight for them they're never going to fight for you I'm fighting for you I'm shouting out hey do something, fix this issue. But you never sit up there and back me. Y'all don't want to back me up, but you rather back up somebody that thinks suicide is funny, or being gay is funny, or being transgender is funny, or being black is funny, or being white is funny, or being some kind of other minority is funny. You rather support them. It's like that's offensive, but it's funny as hell. So you rather watch videos where a white man can call you a nigga and walk away, or a black man call you a cracker and walk away, or speaking on them and support them, but you will never support somebody like me because I'd rather fight for you than against you. And that's all I got to say. Tell me what you think down in the comment section. Subscribe to my channels. Subscribe, uh, subscribe to my channels. Hit that bell button for notification. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Tumblr. Uh, Follow me on Tumblr. Check out my fan page. Check out my group. And tell me what you... That's going to be down in the description. Tell me what you think down to the comment section. Do you think that she should step down from being CEO, from not helping out the people that really needs help instead of the well-known? Or do you think it's okay that you get traded like dog shit while the well-known laugh in your damn face? While the well-knowns are the bullies and we are the victims? Tell me what you think.